without having mastery over time, nobody can determine the nature of their destiny in their lives. So the only way you can take charge of time is by mastering your energies, how they function. If you are functioning like a steam engine, it's a long time. If you are functioning like a jet engine, boom. And one who's taken charge of time, for him, the entire universe is a sweetness of compassion. Once you came here as a human being, life got a little complicated. If you came here like any other creature on this planet, stomach full, life settled. Once you come here as a human being, stomach empty, only one problem. Stomach full, one hundred problems. So what we are calling as life, here is just a certain combination of time and energy. This combo of time and energy, unfortunately, majority of the people never learn to handle it seamlessly and wonderfully. Hitch after hitch, everything is a problem. If you're a toddler, you have diaper problems. If you become an adolescent, you have hormonal problems. If you become middle-aged, there is a crisis. <laughs> Old age is horrible. <laughs> Every phase of life, people are seeing it as some kind of a problem. Of course, death is a serious problem. So this combination of time and energy, we must understand the nature of what we are handling. Time, by its own nature, is such. You do something, it rolls. If you don't do something, it rolls. You don't have to push it, I'm saying. Hello? As you're sitting here, it's rolling away. You're doing a lot of things, it's rolling away. You do nothing, it rolls away. You're awake, it rolls away. You're asleep, it rolls away. But without having mastery over time, Nobody can determine the nature of their destiny in their lives. How to grab time? People are talking about time management. Have you ever managed time? <laughs> As you sit here, it's ticking away. And what's ticking away is not a clock. What's ticking away is our life itself. Hello? Since I walked in, you're two minutes closer to your grave. Yes, you are. Me too <laughs> This is the nature of time. Whatever you do, do not do, do anything you want. But you're not able to roll it back, it is only rolling forward. It is just that, if you are happy, it seems to tick away very fast. If you're miserable, it goes very slowly for you. Have you noticed this? On a particular day, you're very happy, twenty-four hours chup. Now you're depressed, twenty-four hours feel… feel like a yawn for you. Yes or no? So only miserable people have a long life. <laughs> if you're a joyful person, it's a brief life. If you're an ecstatic person, it's just a moment, poof, it's gone before you know what's happening. Life has gone so fast that even my body has not realized time has gone by and it's still… <laughs> I have not realized time has gone by. This is the thirtieth year of Isha, it… thirtieth anniversary of Isha Foundation and I can't believe thirty years, it feels like three days in my experience. And in these three days or thirty years, my schedules are… Uh, Singapore is a holiday for me, I just come to golf and <laughs> Otherwise, my schedules are insane, okay? Every day, twenty hours minimum, we are on. 
I have never been… I have never missed a single airplane till now. In a day sometimes I've been in six airports, but I've never missed an airplane, I've never missed an appointment, I've never been late to an appointment in thirty years. But I don't manage time, I manage myself. Time, how to manage? It's too big a thing to manage, it's not in your hands. Whether you like it or not, it's ticking away, isn't it? Yes? If you sit here, it's ticking away, if you jump around, it'll tick away. Do whatever you want, it'll tick away, isn't it? But what you can do with yourself, that you can manage, there's nothing to do with the time. So self-management, not time management. Just a few days ago, I was flying in from India. Normally it used to be thirteen and a half, fourteen hours, but uh, now there is some issue that Pakistan is not allowing airplanes to flow, fly over their airspace, so it's taking sixteen hours. Because I know all the pilots and I'm a licensed pilot myself, so they let me sit in the cockpit and I'm interested in what's happening there. So I was talking to them and uh, they said, Sadhguru, it's, uh, I said, fourteen hours, isn't it? I s they said, no, Sadhguru, sixteen hours, it's so long. Then I said, see, I'm not complaining. Because just a century ago, if I had to go to United States, it was sixty days. Sixteen hours, I'm not complaining, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll sit down, lie down, read something, do something or talk to you. But uh, I'm not complaining about sixteen hours. How did sixty days become sixteen hours? Simply because from a, a chugging steam engine to a jet engine, hello? Suddenly sixty days became sixteen hours. So the only way you can take charge of time is by mastering your energies, how they function. If you are functioning like a steam engine, it's a long time. If you are functioning like a jet engine, boom! Right now they are saying the Chinese have developed an airplane where Beijing to New York, you can do it in two hours. They are saying by 2028, they'll have it commercially ready, two hours. So, this is not mastery of time, but Consequentially, it is mastery of time. If what somebody does in ten years, if you can do it in one year, if both of you live for hundred years, in terms of impact and exp profoundness of experience, you lived for a thousand years. Hello? That is the only way you can take charge of time. And one who has taken charge of time, for him, the entire universe is a sweetness of compassion. That is, will be his experience of life once he has taken charge of time.